Hello, everybody. My name's Markiplier. Bonk. Yeah, I'm not Jack Septicon. Just kidding, everybody. My name's Pixel Cheesecake. And I'm Shallow. He's the adequate gamer, and he'll be gaming this Poppy's Playtime. Well, technically speaking, Poppy all the time, but I make the same mistake all the time. So do most YouTubers. Oh. Yeah, we're a just tight squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally returned to the factory, many years after everybody within disappeared. Spooky. Can't be that spooky. He looks like Cookie Monster. Uh, looks can be seen. At least mildly inconvenient. Uh, yeah, look at Alfonso on the internet. Her name is Poppy. Alfonso. Alfonso, the one with pink hair. Everyone wants a, them to be their delivery driver because they have a big package. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Just watch. Let's just watch this video. Poppy Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I, I think this you. is very cute. How do you... Well, it. Seems like the be all and all big boss. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is dirty and won't come out when you brush it. G.I. Joe did it first. G.I. Joe did it before Barbie. I'm a real girl. <laughs> You're looking at me with discontent, but you know that I'm right. Why would if you've ever wanted Why would G.I. Joe have brushable hair? Toys were created. Playtime Co. is now offering real factory toys like that just hair before Barbies did. An entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. Like individual so strands of hair. Come visit the factory. That sounds like you got wire crossed and perhaps thought the opposite of the truth. Nope. I'm not wrong. And if I'm wrong, comment below. Or see also Murphy's Law, where people will willingly correct to you if you give the suppose the wrong answer. Everyone who thinks the staff disappeared ten years ago, we're still here. Find the flowers. Follow the money. <laughs> See this, uh, Bobby has seen better days. Tap to view items. And I think this TV is broken. Hi, my name is Late Pierre, and I'm the head of innovation here at. There's the something I don't know why I'm even looking out on the TV screen. This, and you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. Oh Sometimes my God. Small. That's Sometimes amazing. Big, which, once set off, we'll turn on the factory's emergency alarm yeah, yeah. and directly contact the authorities. The thing and that the that chapter two is actually lacking. Aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my Probably order. too easy not to. Around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing. For certain things in that way. Like, oh, run from the monster who's screaming at you. Oh. Know how close they are by looking at the thingamadoodles. Yeah. The, uh... I said thingamadoodles with a straight face. Yes. Happy Men's Mental Health Awareness Month, since we're doing this in six something. Six, 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 number of the beats. Save that for the rhythm games. Uh, oh, I found my Donkey Kong Go Bongos. 
so we could totally get away with doing that. I, I used to have those, but I don't remember where they went. I just put them behind the TV one day, and then, like, they vanished into the ether. So. That's fair. Anyway, so, see this train? Yep. It's the passcode to get in the door. So, so we, pink. No, it's yellow. the, we saw with the, uh, the, the head of the train. Green, pink, yellow, red. Yep. Cosmo and Wanda trying to be slick. Yeah. Then, Wait, was that meme from 2016? Oh my god, I'm so old. I don't keep track of memes anymore. Well, I'm a nerd, so... I'm an underutilized memeologist. I would be useful in a retail environment. I didn't hit you, the grab pack malfunction. Oh, do you need something at the top shelf? Let me grab that. Just yoink. No means no, Bill Cosby. Bonk. Ooh, you're nuts. Good for long distance high fives. Yep. Though, so, apparently, since you can decapitate people, uh, I think a uh, human to human interaction via grab pack would be best on a very minimal basis. Unless you're made of plastic, like Plastic Man or O'Brien's kid. Yeah. Or you can just uh, rebo uh, body parts at a quick speed. Menace to society. Hello, Starshine. The sun said, disrespect your surroundings. Oh, oh, oh. No, you think you should sit down? Not in this company. When you say grab a seat, when they say grab a seat, they don't think they meant that literally. The chair is sitting still up. There we go. No chair shall go unmenaced. Ironically, we're sitting down for this. Yeah, if we ever get to live streaming, we'll do so in one of those zero gravity situations. I've heard some weird random spoilers for chapter three because of some weird art but and bits and pieces from random YouTubing. Mm -hmm. three, three years later he caused the fight of eighty seven. Give him a high five. Complete. Yeah. You want to see something funny? Sure. Now you look at his hand. Yeah. Ooh. Did that? Yep, that key just walked right into his hand. Huh. So you're supposed to not be looking at it. But I was looking at it anyway. Yeah. We've seen all these puzzle games. We actually did uh, one before this that was a demo that I'm now waiting for because we're probably going to be doing the whole thing. Yeah. And 
another place to look before we south go. I see him there. Yep. Bam! Let's go. So. Yeah, we won't be, uh, later on we won't be seeing him move that fast, but he'll move pretty fast. There was a SMG for Mario video about this game. Oh, that was interesting. Why not just jump over? Well, I mean, when I was going there, that felt like pulling the blocks down. Yeah. I mean, oh no, big scary random noise that's totally unexplained. It's really uh, opening my pores. So I know where the like these tapes are. Do you want to watch them or just? All up to you. A longer runtime is good for. YouTube apparently because God forbid it knows how to handle humans or what have you. So you see that right hair? Yeah. We need to uh, put some power power blocks in here. Oop off. Yep. Oh. Yay, ten foot drop if you're totally fine. Alright. You can survive much, much higher falls in this game. With what I assume is a bulky metal backpack on your back yeah. with tension cables. Yes. Assuming that we're, assuming we're some kind of robot thing too. Yeah, going back to the factory is clearly the best way of... Red dinosaur. Yep. That's cute. Ah, so. Yep. Oh. Yellow cube. As you can see, this game is a little janky. I guess so, intentionally, because run down. Uh, I won't say that like the game environment is janky, but like the controls are janky, and sort of like some hit like detection is weird. Two things we're going to pull Doc Ock in later chapters have access to multiple. Now that would be fun. Just... Like, have four arms and just a random punch attack. Love to see how worlds are connected like this. Which is why I like to be a DM. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Remember when Mainland left? You seem to be watching a, a call. I don't know this is like stupid company knows security footage. Oh, I swear, I haven't seen a thing. Or did that a call? We started flooding the storehouse with orphanage junk. Right. I can't think it's a nice program. It's a hard brain. Huh. Who do you think's more evil? The CEO of this company or William Afton? Because someone did a free reading of the Five Nights at Friday's books and I was still awake and couldn't sleep, so I decided to listen to them. And then you were even more awake. Woke up even more confused. Well, I had two melatonin, five grams of two of the chewable, five grams of melatonin in me. Yeah. Yeah, 
think uh, it depends on you know, this toy toy company is like using is like putting kids into toys. Like uh, and at least William Afton was slightly siphoning their souls to make this weird live forever dupe. Yeah. With some side effects. Basically the same way they make remnant remnants in D D, which I'm down for, but I'm still wanting to see how they make more correctness. Like she'll never tell anyone. But she might get all her fans back if she explains that, even if it'll gross people out. Just put it in D&D. I just kind of assumed you just kind of murdered someone magically near a spell, when you're like an important object. It doesn't even have to be an important object. It can be a grain of sand as long as you can put a small bit of your soul into it. At least as far as I understand it. But, uh, yeah, Voldemort's big mistake was to put in a point of objects and not into stones and hook them into rivers. The only problem with that is there are these magical fish that tear tear their insides inside out to eat the minerals out of rocks using acid. But enough about starfish. Yeah. Okay. Let's see something funny. Okay. Nice hops, Mario. Oh. Yeah. What's up? Okay, here we go. Still has it's, its like uh, boxes. It's like the glass case is still there. No, it still has its hit box there, so can't even. <laughs> there you go. Need one. Why not just have a cutscene where your hands come out and just clip it into place? I bet they didn't think that would happen. There's a game I'm going to get him to play once I get him to play the rest of the games called Follow the Free Man. Man. Yeah. The terrible uh, Half-Life game with a, that was as a character voiced by everything. Yep. There were some good bits out of it. I disagree. It like it makes Gray Man look a lot more like some sort of puppet master, which follows my theory of oh, the first human to ever come to my realm. I got in his mind and I was. Uh, shoots to the side. Oh. Yeah, there's uh, shoots to the side. I, during my first time playing this, I managed to jump off the line, go up them, and then fall out of world. So. Yep. Well, at least, at least none of my fellow DMs have done the whole back thing. Mm -hmm. I only had to do it once to someone. They refused to cooperate with the party, didn't want to be there, had no real reason for being there. Yeah. 
Okay, you try to... You try to lean against a wall. You clip into the back rooms. You're never seen again. Roll up a new character. Meanwhile, what's everyone else doing? That's sort of the, uh... Rocks fall on your head and dying. Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Except the back rooms are a lot more precarious. So I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a I know it's tr trying to be a base, but... Looks like some, like, a hand. Yeah. Yeah. The pretty raid feeling, too. <laughs> tried to make Huggy Wuggy with so, their hands and I really their hands to being a kid. Yeah, I think it looks like a hand with like, like fingers, thumb, and then like a gauntlet. Your body just gets older, older, and then you die. Whew. Human bodies. Just trying to do a shadow puppet thing on me. Here's things though. What it looks like to me. I can stay alive even while being way older than the person. I just see fingers like a gong. Like a gong. Like something a right? no more heroes boss would have. All right, I think we're getting a little interesting. Anyway, that was some more that we weren't paying attention to. I'm sure our fans were paying attention to it because they're the real ones. Of you really care about lore that much, you can just watch the, the game theory videos. That's how that, that works, right? Ah. Yeah, it. Nice. That would have taken me at least three tries. Trying to do that myself. Joke's so new, I've done it 20 times. Not playthroughs, just <laughs> 20 tries of the puzzle. Uh, I was going to make a grinder joke cause it's because Pride Month and Men's Mental Health Awareness Month fall on the same day. Go month, go yeah. figure. Well, at this point, there's probably like six holidays for every day. There are three days that don't have a national or international holiday. Yeah, like my uh, my hack. Nice. Just dangling stuff off. Why didn't it work out like that that time then? Like what? Why didn't it work out like that when you were going to jump off the thing? Grab on that scene where you're lowering, lowering yourself down. Make it look a little bit more. I kind of get the feeling that I'm telling you to. Huh. Okay then. I think you have to... Oh, is the goal to... So I'm kind of just speeding through the game. Not like, giving you like time to like, even absorb the puzzles. If you want to absorb the puzzles, check out SMG4's version of this. He puts his version of Mario into Poppy Playtime. Because the the poor man's looking for a for a bathroom. So nobody leads without a toy. Yeah, toy maker. And uh, an assembly endpoint. So doll parts. One of these is, a, is a, a somewhere, the other is a color one, mm -hmm. the scanning, and then Hey look, it's that rare variant of that robot cat from the Lightyear movie. Did anyone see Lightyear yet?
yet. I haven't. I didn't even know it was out. Look. Oh, look, it's freedom! Uh, how about you? Don't! That would, that would be a little... That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Like, yep. like he bumps his head, and you see him shake. Right. See him? Yep. Okay, I probably should go back again. So I'll probably grab it. Anyway. Now it's the, ch the scary chase sequence. I feel like someone played Killer7 and said, There's not a deadly enough monster chasing behind you in those tight corners and the angel mission. Uh, there we go. Oh, no. I completely forgot where I was going. Okay, would Huggy Wuggy count as an eel? When it opens up wide and there's more shells inside, that's the more rain. Alright, so we're, uh, we're going off that basis. Well, it's definitely got teeth, but like three sets of jaws. Should I have a shot? Ah, yeah, I miss doing. I miss using that. I remember introducing. There were two missions my players could do. Either an escort mission or a hunting mission. The hunting mission was half bunny, half piranhas. Mm -hmm. And one of them was a professional chef. Well, two of them were chefs. One did seafood, one did standard meat. So I broke them mentally by asking what type of wine they would pair it with. There was an argument for like three hours. So I had to make a, make up something called pink wine. a series around? Yes. Mascot character. Good. Uh, I would pitch a sort of Maho uh, Matic uh, cleaning robot made girl who fights a sort of Captain Planet uh, baddies who want to make the world dirty. <laughs> that would be hilarious. The end of her feather duster is a teaser. And she has a Roomba mode. Or a little Roomba she can remote control. Look. Spooky claw. Oh, he jump scared us and I didn't get to do the thing. Is that the bite of 87? <laughs> I'm sure I'll... I'm sure our editor will add that clip in somewhere. Nah, yeah, I can't be bothered. Or I can try and figure out how it goes to 
processing. That's your prerogative. Oh, speaking of which, I learned that the only thing we're shy of for monetization is view hours. And that's kind of abysmally low, but I'm hoping this new mic setup will help because we were just using AirPods previously and whatever the computer does. How are we using a USB mic and AirPods? So if it, our voice doesn't catch on one, it'll catch on the other. At least in theory. This is like a band-made Psychonauts level. Nice work, team. Yeah. But, yeah, Tim Schafer had to sell half of his body's worth of blood three times over to make Psychonauts. Mm -hmm. And this is an indie game, so y'all doing fantastic. Um... Oh, that's the original copy. Yeah. And since we have a uh, no finesse control, we're just going to lift the door right off the case. Ready? <laughs> Toys, friends. You opened my case. Yep. That has been Poppy Playtime Chapter 1. This will probably be going straight out if we don't do the whole thingamadoodle of over editing it like other YouTubers. Yeah, I, I feel like this could just be an episode of it onto itself, so. Yep. He didn't necessarily play it. we didn't necessarily play it blind. As blind as we can be spending way too much time on YouTube for our mental health. Yeah, I, uh, Thank you, Jonah Bell Bellinger, because you get a special thanks just because. Yeah. Shout out to that guy. Or woman. Whatever they go by. I don't judge. Yeah, Ch Chapter two. Sure. Cool. We'll see y'all in the next episode. Peace. Bye.